We share a heritage with Hawaiians, Californians, even Australians. And it's not cricket. As South Africans, we always find ourselves drawn to the ocean in some way or another. For some of us, it becomes more about passion than pleasure. One of these people is international surfing champion Geordie Smith. And if there's anywhere I'm going to find him, it's on the beach. As you'd expect from the son of a man who shaped boards, Geordie grew up with surfing in his DNA. But even having done it for the better part of two decades, could he do the impossible and get rookie Jono up in just one morning? Looking a bit rough out there, eh? Oh, it definitely is. Um, I don't think the conditions are very good right now, but uh, I can definitely show you a few things on the sand if you want. Off to you. Well, yeah, let's... Uh... Kind of do a little demo on the sand right here. I'm a total beginner, so start right from the beginning, eh? Okay, perfect. Well, I'll just kind of show you the, the paddling motion and then the standing up motion and see how we go. So you got to pretty much lie, obviously, like that. And then you're going to paddle for your wave like this. Okay. And then w once you're going, you, you're going to want to put your hands kind of like right there. Yeah. And then when you go to stand up, you're going to jump and you're going to up like that, yeah. Put both feet you know, parallel to the stringer. The stringer is the wooden part in the middle of the board. There. Yeah, I want to learn all those cool words, okay. eh? You need to teach me all those cool words that the surfers use. Looks easy, though. I know, it looks super easy, but... Um, you out there. Let's give it a go. Okay. Cool. Paddling. So you're going to be paddling. And then hands here. Almost. Cool. Pedal. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Perfect. That was epic. Well, let's do it. Ready. Jonathan is skilled as a writer, director, and now presenter. Surfer would be a cool addition to his CV. And yet, even with his illustrious coach, he had to admit it wasn't his day. The Geordie's partner, Lindell, had breakfast waiting was a good excuse to call time. This is looking fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. This is actually Geordie's favorite breakfast because today is his cheat day. Well, I'm starving, so let's jump in. Absolutely. I need to warm up after that freezing cold ocean. <laughs> now, when it comes to you guys meeting, it was a story of persistence pays off for this guy, eh? Yeah, you could say that. More like he stalked me. <laughs> stalked, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no denial, eh? <laughs> uh, we met at a horse race and he asked me out on a date and I said, no, I'm not interested. And how many times you asked me like... Three times. Well, he said to me, uh, just give me one date and I'll change your mind. And then he did. Jeez, what, was, what date was it? <laughs> uh, I think that's kind of the J-Dog's little secret he's got going, eh? <laughs> Don't no divulge anything. With Lindell doing shoots from Japan to LA and her man chasing the perfect wave, how do they keep that loving feeling? When I travel, I like to be as comfortable as possible. And uh, having Lindell with me makes me extremely comfortable and I found that that way I get my, my best results. Yeah, and he goes off and he serves like it's his training and I go off and I go exploring and then we see each other at the end of the day and... It works. I mean, if you can travel together, you can do anything together. <laughs> if Jordi's family saw tough times growing up, then it's made him famously generous with his own good fortune. And here's where he plays open house. <sighs> this is the man cave, eh? This is the zone where it all relaxes and, yeah, where I just have a bit of downtime. And the man cave wouldn't be complete without that massive life-size picture of your signature move, the radio flip. Yeah, you know, I think that's a, that came to a point in my life where things really turned around for me and it was on the you know, front page of Yahoo and a, a few big websites and uh, yeah, just kind of where things took off for me and became professional. One thing I've noticed around your house, the surfing trophies are definitely the coolest trophies out there. Yeah, there's a ton of pretty cool trophies around you for sure. I, uh, you know, I kind of like to relive the moments that you know, I had a bit of success and I'm a really confident guy so I like to kind of surround myself by... A lot of positive things. And people. The film Bending Colors is a product of his friendship with filmmaker Kai Neville, who followed Geordie from Indonesia to Mexico, documenting his life in surfing. I've done a few movies before with Kai, and uh, yeah, we've had a ton of fun, you know, and I think the, the greatest thing about it is I've just been really comfortable in front of the camera. And yeah, it's just some great cinematography, some amazing shots and really scenic places, so... Uh, I just kind of really hope that the crowd enjoys it. Preparing for opening night, Lindell tried not to add to the two years it took to complete the film. Isn't the female in the relationship supposed to have the most shoes? Not in this relationship. I love shoes, but no one loves shoes more than he loves shoes. No, they're literally spilling out of the closet. They are now traveling across our room. <laughs> He's definitely got the problem.
they had almost as many guests as Geordie has pairs of shoes, all gathered in Granger Bay ahead of a highly anticipated premiere. You guys are looking well. Geordie, I don't know, you look the same. Lind Lindell, you look fantastic. Thank you very much. Took a while, but I got there. <laughs> I've, uh, it took me a couple of hours to do this, this look. <laughs> There's a really special story behind the title of the film. Yeah, well, kind of just bending colors, what it means to me is that uh, just kind of the bending of the wave and, and all the colors in a wave, you know, uh, the shapes of waves. and um, It's that emotional connection you have to see. It's an emotional connection, yeah. for sure. Roxy, you've been surfing with Geordie for many years. What did you think? Yeah, well, I've known Geordie for a long time, um, since he was a little grom, and you've always known he has the most amazing talent, and he's a brilliant surf, and yeah, it's about time that he brought out his own movie. I've always thought that he's one of the best servers in the world, so I'm just happy to like see someone like that like, do so much, so I'm stoked, you know. Brian, as a top athlete, you can really appreciate what it takes to be at the top of your game like Geordie. Yeah, obviously Geordie is a phenomenon when it comes to surfing internationally and, and South Africa and um, yeah, hoping ne next year he brings back the World Championship. I know it was a really special night for both Lindell um, and Geordie and the, the images were insane. The soundtrack was super, super cool. The venue's great. It's just been an awesome evening. Really, very special. Uh, a few years back we got together just for a laugh and um, got in the studio and uh, the guy can sing, hey? He's got an amazing voice actually. The guy... He's just so talented. Yeah, it's really cool. We went surfing with a guy, which is also an amazing experience, really. It's actually very depressing because it makes you realize how what a kook you are, basically. You must be stoked. Is that the right word, stoked, eh? That's definitely the right word. I'm uh, kind of over the moon at the moment. Uh, I think it was a great turnout. Everybody came and everybody seemed psyched and pumped. And uh, I just really want to get amongst it and uh, say thank you to everybody for coming. See you guys. Here. And once the jewel wrapped up, he'd be off to Hawaii to compete once more. Business unusual.